When I was in school, being African was a diss. Sounds like you need help saying my surname, miss. Tried to communicate, but every day was like another episode of Everybody Hates Chris. Ever since mum said, son, you are a king, I feel like Floyd when I'm stepping into the ring. Just spoke to the boy, said he's flying in with a ting. We're touching the road to celebrate another win. Going in, why am I repping these ends, man, I don't know. They played a game of roulette with the postcodes. It's nice to come back now and uh, show the kids who are still in that mindset that I was in, you know, years ago, that and still, you can still become successful. Now I've got the pen things in the front row. We're going to do a show at the VNA. We're going to learn to make music. Yeah, I love the sun, but I respect the rain. Look forward to good times, can't forget the pain. I was the kid in school with the 10 pound shoes, jack ups and the pepper grains. Told him gonna respect me for my ambition. Rest in peace, my boys that are missing. I had to tell my story because they'd rather show you black kids with flies on their faces on the television. Green. So we're building a recording studio, creating a space that's you know, fully functional, taken full advantage of by the local community. The studio that we build to be good, man, because we've needed one. I feel blessed to be with Levi's, making this whole thing happen for, for the youth. They, they, need, they need the guidance right now. Lord, please hear my cry. Praying on bended knees over a thousand times, and I've been wondering. My name is Nina Hudson. I'm from Hackney, and I'm 17 years old. I've always had a love for music. Working with Skepta is a lot of fun. He's an incredibly humble and funny person, and it really shows you that no matter where you grow up or what you've been through, you can still do something. If you know that you're going to do it and if you believe in yourself, then you will do it. I've been wondering, where's your reply? That eight bars before really sounds like a chorus, don't you think? It does, I think that's the chorus. That's the chorus, isn't it? That's the chorus, that's the chorus. That's the chorus. That's the chorus. then going to the verse. Okay, yeah, yeah, go on. Then. Optimistic, don't wanna be late all day statistic. If you got nothing to lose, why not risk it? Cause anything is better than this, so fuck this shit. Police come around and think you're... Hearing it from someone who's in the industry, it does do a lot for your confidence. It makes you feel like I'm special. So, I, I am going to make it. They're already stars. Everyone in there is a star. They just need the confidence to move to the next step. Not changed the way I feel about music, but I suppose it's, like, increased my belief of my own music. It can get a bit daunting trying to do everything yourself, but seeing somebody be so successful doing it all himself, it gives you the sort of the push you need when you're in the sort of darker spaces of creating. There was no such thing in my mind as independent, I didn't know what that was. But now it's like, it's kind of like a movement in a way, and Skepta is like one of the leaders. This is game changing, you know, you can change your lives, you can change the game, you can start a revolution. I like to see how far he's gone with his music. It just gives you so much more hope and like inspiration to know like I'm doing the right thing, I'm on the right path. I thought, how the hell can I approach this? So I picked up my pen, then I wrote this. Oh my. my name is Bells. I'm from an estate called Meridian. It's in Tottenham, North London, and I'm 19. Yo, how are we gonna do this? I got people on the roads and they ruthless. Can't wait till I get the car ruthless. And my money real dumb, real stupid. So I got. I must have done the track one time. Man, I'm trying to change my um, life doing music. Obviously, you Skepta must have come back to the block in it. Heard my track, like rating it, and then from Yo, then he's just been. We've want, been working man, together. So I've, I live in the future, so I, I saw it coming. So I got my work done early. Growing up around here, you I think. In my music, like, it reflects, there's way more to talk about. Just telling you my story, really. Now the man and wait up on the block for me. Forget them guys, man, I'm gonna do this properly. Forget chilling on the wall, man, that's not for me. Man, I'm two steps ahead like Monopoly. Bells. As it's getting closer to perform at the v &A, like things seem to be falling together pretty nicely. Like, songs are finishing and we're seeing, like, the order of how we're gonna perform it, etc. So, yeah, I can, can really visualise it now. Well, in terms of the performance at the VNA, I've just been thinking about it like every night. I'm just trying to work and work and work. 
I think that's probably a big reason why I'm doing it as well, because nobody did it for me. I hope the legacy this project leaves is one to like anyone aspiring to be a musician, just keep chasing it and keep pushing because hopefully it inspires people when they do see it to think, yeah, like I can do that as well. If they can do it, like why can't I? You know, for something as big and as grand as the VNA for them, they're gonna remember something really great. It's gonna be the biggest venue I'm gonna perform at, and I can't wait. It's gonna be extraordinary. You never think that this one line that you wrote in your bedroom would become this song that you're performing at the VNA. Okay, and I want you to think about your cheekbones, and I call this Blaze High. Yada, yada, yada. I always remember these sessions that we have and like just the intimate conversations that everyone has with him and he wants to see us do well. It's very inspiring. Are you ready? <laughs> Yo! Yo, been gone for a minute, now I'm back. Me and my friends used to sit in that trap. Now I'm in the VNA spitting my trap, trying to take my sound all over the map. Like, yeah, I do cry, man, yeah, I do rap. On this platform, there's no mind and I got pop down. I think it's important that we did this. I watched so much insecurity just float off all of those guys. I like the ethos of what Levi's has done. I'm happy to have found him and it's a good partnership. I just want to make tonight happen again and again and again. Man, I walk on the arc, sitting at the front just like Rosa Parks. You don't wanna see me get dark. They're upset because man, I wake up right now and the sh happened all so fast. This is the beginning of a great, great, great life for all of you, man. I don't know what else to say. I told you we were gonna do it. I told you. Whatever they learn, they can teach new people in the studio will still be here. Wherever they're gonna walk now in their lives, they're gonna know they've overcome a massive, massive thing tonight in the VNA. So I'm proud of them, all of them, I love them all. Sick.